methods of importing file in Excel. So import a text file by opening it in Excel. You can open a text file that you created in another program as an Excel workbook by using the command. That command will be the open command. So opening a text in file, Excel does not change the format of the file. You can see that in the title bar where the name of the file remains the same. So how to basically import, you have to go to the file, open the browse to the location and contents the text file. Then select text file into the file type drop down list in the open dialog box. Locate and double click the text file that you want to open. There are two commonly used text file formats. Deliminated text files that is .txt in which the tab characters typically separates each field of text. Comma separated values text files .csv. So in which the comma character typically separates each file of the text. Import a text file by connecting to it, that is Power Query. You can import from a text file into an existing worksheet. On the data tab, in the get and transform data group, click from text or CSV. So in the import data dialog box, locate or double click the text file that you want to import and click import. So in the preview dialog box, you have several options that you will see. Select load if you want to load the data directly to a new worksheet. Alternatively, select load to if you want to load the data to table or pivot table or pivot chart or existing or new Excel worksheet or simply create a connection. You also have the choice of adding your data to the data model. Select transform data if you want to load the data to Power Query and edit it before bringing it to Excel. Reason to import Excel data in Access. There are many situations in which you might want to move data from Excel worksheet into Access including Interdepartmental projects. If you collaborate with other teams who use Excel instead of Access, you might want to input their data into your existing documents. Next would be switching programs. You might need to move a high volume of data from Excel to Access if you plan to start storing your data in Access instead of Excel. Third is adding flexibility. Teams that use both programs for different projects and documents may learn how to import data for added agility when moved between the two. Combining two documents. If you want to merge data for two completed documents, you could choose to move the data from Excel to Access. How to import Excel data in Access? Here are eight steps you could follow to import Excel data in Access. Choose the content you want to import. Open Excel and find the worksheet containing the first set of data you want to import. Now you can only import worksheets, not entire workbook. For this reason, it might be important to remember to select each worksheet in the correct order so your access document is clean and orderly. If you want to import a specific data range, select the cells you'd like to move. Right click on your selection and find the option that allows you to name the range, type the name and click OK. Review the setting and correct any formatting errors. Check the source data to ensure its compatibility with access setting. Access can only support up to 255 columns. So check that the number of columns is the below this limit. Convert the data into table if it's not already in tabular form. Expect content in merged cells to appear. Left aligned, check for any error value and replace them with the correct data. Third, Close the Excel workbook. If your document in, is in use, 
it might slow down your import operation. To minimize the risk of errors, shut down the file. This allow access to import your data cleanly. Open your access file. Start access and prepare the data destination. If you want to start a new file, navigate to the file tab, click on new and select blank database. If you'd rather move your data into existing access database, find and open the file. It's vital to adjust any read only setting or edit permission to allow you to move to a new content. Set up the table. You can use an existing table on your database, but it's important to adjust the setting to ensure the data imports are correct. Check the names and the data types of your first row. Match the first row of the Excel data. Add any extra fields to ensure that you have enough space in the table of the new data. If you have any duplicate information being imported, turn off. Yes, no duplicates. Setting under indexed. If your table have primary key fields, it's essential that they are different from one another but compatible. The last the next step is being the import. Directions for opening the import spreadsheet wizard can vary based on the versions of access you are using. Navigate to the external data tab and find import and link. If you see Excel, click that. Otherwise, you might see new data source. Select it, move to the from file option. And when you see Excel, you can select it. Click browse and find your Excel file. You can tell inform access if you are using a new table on an existing table. Click OK. Click through the import spreadsheet wizard. First, you can find the worksheet you are importing and indicate if you are importing the whole worksheet or a name range. Tell the import spreadsheet wizard if your table has heading. The next steps only apply to new tables. So you can move to step six if you are adding your data to a table that already exists in the database. Ensure that the name the data type is correct for each field. And review the other settings to make sure they align with your source data. Next is repeat accordingly. Follow these steps again if you plan to import multiple data ranges or worksheets. Remember to adjust the setting accordingly to minimize errors. If you are formatting changes between each worksheet, manually correct the names and data types to match your source data. 